So, ayan. Try natin sa problem yung method na ginamit natin. Ganyan. So, pag tignan natin, meron tayong example problem dito guys na may dalawang input signal. Yung isa sa na -in ah, sa inverting, yung isa sa na inverting. So, technically, if you want to solve this by equation, isasam mo yung output ng non-inverting amplifier na equation at yung inverting amplifier na equation. But technically, pwede natin gamitin yung technique na ginawa natin kayo na. So, ano nga yung mga kailangan natin tandaan? First, walang current na papasok dito at dito. So, 0 ampere, 0 ampere. Then, second, ayan, yung voltages ng dalawang inputs natin are the same. So, pag tinignan mo, yung voltage ng non-inverting input is 4 volts. Therefore, yung inverting input natin should be 4 volts also. So, ito, tanda natin na 4 volts agad yan. 4 volts. Then, third, KCL tayo. So, KCL on this node. Current entering, which is, let's say, I1. Then, meron tayong current leaving dito. Let's say, it is I2. So, by KCL, I1 is equal to I2. And for, before that, bakit dito tayo nag-KCL, hindi dito? Kasi wala naman ibang node dito, kaya hindi tayo mag-KCL. So, balik tayo dito sa KCL ng node A. So, we have KCL on node A. So, KCL at A. We have I1 is equal to I2. So, current entering is equal to the current limit. Then, Yung currents, gagawin natin nodal voltages. So, sabi na, nga natin, pinanggalingan man na pupunta ng over resistance. So, itong I1, saan siya galing? Galing siya sa 6 volts. Papunta siya sa voltage at node A, which is 4 volts. Nga, dahil kapareho lang siya ng non-inverting input. So, I1 is 6. Pinanggalingan na 6 minus pupuntahan na 4. Divided by resistance to dinaanan, which is 4 kilo ohms, is equal to so, I2. So, yung I2 galing siya sa voltage na node A, which is 4 volts, minus yung pupuntahan niya na V out. Papunta siya sa V out. Ngayon mo. Dito, papunta sa V out over the resistance na dinanan, which is 10K. So, pag tignan nyo, isa na lang yung unknown dyan. Kaya ang kaya nang masolve yung V out. Therefore, V out is equal to negative 1 volt. That will be our answer for the first problem. Then, try natin kapag may formula naman. So, formula-wise, pag ginamit natin yung answer using formula, so sabi mo nga, i-add mo lang yung, so, V out is equal to V out due to 4 volts plus V out due to 6 volts. So, yung 4 volts, pag tinignan natin, is non-inverting yan. Kaya gagamitin natin yung formula ng non-inverting amplifier, which is V in times 1 plus RF over are in. So, meron tayong V in na 4 volts times 1 plus RF so which is 10 kilo ohm or feedback resistance over R in which is 4 kilo ohms plus V out due to 6 volts. So, ano yung 6 volts? Inverting amplifier which is uh, V in na 6 volts times negative RF na 10k over R in which is 4k kapag sinolve mo will lead to the same answer which is negative 1 volt so technically the same lang yung answer ng dalawa so for our second problem meron tayong circuit dito na meron isang input so meron tayong isang input then meron tayong apat na resistors dito so, ayan. Paano ba natin isasolve yan? Diba? Sabi ko, tandaan natin, walang current na papasok dito sa dalawang input mo. So, 0 ampere to. Then, ito is 0 ampere din. Then, second, yung voltage ng isang input will be the same sa voltage ng kabilang input. So, ayan. Sino sa dalawa yung gagawin natin na reference voltage? So, ang gagawin natin, is ito yung gagamitin natin reference voltage. So, bakit ito? Since meron kang known na source dito, madali nang makuha yung voltage sa node na to. Dito, wala ka naman known na voltages values, kaya mas mahirap siya makuha. So, what we will do is, pag mo, 
dahil 0 ampere dito or dahil sa to sobrang taas na resistance ng input parang open to so dahil open to di ba parang series lang yung 4k and 8k so kapag series may voltage source di ba voltage divider lang yun so voltage divider pag kukunin mo yung voltage dito so let's say this is node A so pag kunin natin yung voltage sa node A di ba yun lang din yung voltage across the 8 kilo ohm resistor so by voltage divider so by voltage divider rule ayan so by voltage divider rule ang magiging output natin is V sa node A is equal to 3 volts times yung 8k divided by the sum of the two resistors 4k plus 8k and technically this is equal to 2 volts so yun yung VA natin then dahil may VA na tayo ayan alam na natin yung voltage dito which is 2 volts na rin yan dahil same nga siya sa positive or sa non-inverting input so dahil meron tayong voltage dito pwede na tayong mag KCL sa node na to dahil siya yung, siya yung sa feedback resistor and papunta sa V out so KCL tayo at this node so let's say this is node V so KCL at node B ayan so KCL we have let's say this is I1 and this is I2 so therefore current entering node B is I1 is equal to the current leaving node B which is I2 ayan so ano mangyari I1 convert natin sa nodal voltages so ano yung nodal voltages natin pinanggalingan so saan galing yung I1 galing siya sa ground so therefore our voltage is 0 minus pupuntahan na node B which is yung node B voltage is 2 volts so therefore I1 is pinanggalingan na 0 minus pupuntahan na 2 volts divided by the resistance na dinaanan which is 2k is equal to I2 so yung I2 natin is it is galing sa node B papunta siya sa V out so therefore pinanggalingan na node B which is 2 volts minus yung pupuntahan na V out over the resistance na dinaanan which is 5k so therefore isa na lang yung unknown natin which is V out kaya ang kaya nang masolve sa calculator yan then V out becomes 7 volts. Yan na yung magiging answer natin. So, punta tayo sa last circuit natin na itatry solve. So, meron tayong circuit dito na may tatlong op-amps connected in such a way na yung output ng dalawang unang op-amp, itong op-amps na to is connected sa input ng pangatlong op-amp. So, try natin yung solve to para makita natin na Eh, para matry natin if kaya nang masolve yung mga complex circuits. So, first, itigay mo, itong V1, or yung op-amp na may V1, is voltage follower lang. Kasi, ano yung voltage dito sa load nito? Yun din yung voltage sa kabilang load. So, if this is 2 volts, this is 2 volts also. But since, since wire lang to, shorted siya papunta sa output. Therefore, alam din natin na 2 volts lang din yung output na to. So, meron na tayong 2 volts dito. Then, second, yung V2 na 1.5 volts is nasa inverting amplifier so ayan since itong non-inverting input is connected to the ground that is 0 therefore yung voltage sa load na to will also be 0 so this is let's say node A so if we have node A ayan KCL tayo at node A so meron tayong current entering which is yung current dito sa 10k so this is I1 sabihin natin then papasok sa node A yung lalabas sa node A is let's say I2 so KCL at node A is equal to I1 is equal to I2 whereas yung KCL pwede natin i-convert into nodal voltages so nodal voltages ng I1 pinanggalingan ng voltage which is 1.5 volts minus pupuntahan. Saan papunta yung I1? Papunta sa node A, which is 0 volts over yung dinaanan na resistance which is 10 k Then, is equal to I2. So, yung I2 galing siya sa node A, which is 0 minus I, uh, pupuntahan. So, let's say itong node na to, let's say this is V3. 
So, papunta siya sa V3, minus V3, over dinaanan na resistance, which is 50K. So, ayan, pwede na natin ma-compute yan. And, let's say, ang mga yan dito is negative 7.5 volts yung V3. So, negative 7.5 volts yung V3. So, then next, meron na tayo yung voltage dito sa node na to and sa node na to. Then, meron pang dalawang resistor kapunta sa node to. Pwede rin tayo ulit na mag KCL. So, let's say this is node B. So, node B. KCL at node B tayo. Current entering. So, let's say this is I3. Then, this is I4. Ayan. So, KCL at node B. is I3 plus I4 is equal to so meron tayong current dito so let's call this current I total so or IT is equal to IT then and ano yung voltage natin dito since the non-inverting input of the last amplifier is connected to the ground therefore the voltage at the inverting amplifier is also zero kasi nga connected sa ground dyan. So, therefore, I3, pinanggalin mo ng I3, which is 2, minus pupuntahan na voltage sa node B, which is zero, over dinaanan na resistance, which is 20K, plus I4, so I4, sinanggalin yung I4, V3, which is negative 7.5 volts, minus yung pupuntahan, so papunta siya sa node B, which is zero, over yung dinaanan na resistance, which is 30k is equal to I total. So, saan galing yung I total? So, galing siya sa node B. Therefore, that is 0. Pinanggalingan na 0 minus pupuntahan na V out. So, papunta siya sa V out. So, from 0, papunta sa V out over yung dinaanan na resistance which is 60k. Then, the answer will become V out is equal to 9 volts. And this will be our final answer. So, yan. Ganun lang kadali yung operational amplifiers, guys. So, tandaan nyo lang, pinanggalingan na nasupuntahan over yung dinaanan na resistance.